are you or have you been in Germany for so long that you have been asking yourself a question? Why have you been here without giving a permit to stay here? So this is a question to everyone else right now watching me. We have been asking ourselves, why are we here for almost years without having any permit to stay in this country? So this is the tip that I'm going to give you for you to understand that there are different ways, even without an asylum grant, for you to stay here. So many of us are staying here in this country have been asking themselves, why am I not given the chance to stay in this country? Today, I'm going to give you a tip, an idea, which is from the German section 25b, which we call Asylum on the Offental Gesetze 25a. If you look at this Gesetze, it helps people who are well integrated in Germany. So today, I'm going to tell you what is this Offental Gesetze 25b and how are you going to meet the criteria that you need to able to uh, ask for this permit. If you live in this country for almost eight years and without committing any crime, living in this country, working, going to school, and then doing as it said, you speak the language very clearly. Trust me, this is the area that I'm going to tell you and make sure that you are free and safe. So today I'm going to tell you how can someone or how can somebody apply for this permit. So this is going to be something very, very important for you. Okay. Can everyone apply for this Fung 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 B? I mean, often take a Fung 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 B. This is a resident act of 25B in, you know, for well-integrated migrants. But can everyone apply for it? This is the million dollar question. Well, I would say like, no. Not everyone can apply it because there are requirements for this. And you must meet these requirements before you're going to apply for it. Where are you or when or where do you where could you apply for this um, status or the offentile fungus responsibility? be? You could apply it to often uh, also in the beholder. But one thing I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the requirements, how you could meet them. And what are the things that you need to at least meet before you can apply for this fungus responsibility? be? First of all, as I said, you need to have at least offentile gestaltung or duldung. And duldung, offentile gestaltung, duldung is for people who are like with toleration. Often the is the people who are still in asylum. So we go again. You have to make sure that you are not part of any criminal activities. Oh, you are not. You are not part of any criminal activities. Very, very important. The third one is you have to make sure that you are well integrated. At least have a, a BSY certificate or BINs, which is very, very important. The other one is you have to make sure that you are living by yourself and you are taking by taking care of yourself financially. So you have to make sure that you can take care of your financial problems. You can take care of your house, you can take care of yourself without the support of the government, without the support of the, 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 the social arm, or the Bundes arm, or the um, um, Agenturi Arbeit, or the um, um, job center, whatever. And these things, if you can, if you meet all these quali uh, quali uh, quali uh, quali uh, quali then, my friend, you can able to apply for this status.